because if corporates comes in uh, then then we are up and run right of corona virus test test cricket is still al- alive in stories may may be, may have been planted which hurt me very bad so i i felt i was a li- little bit handicapped before being compared to vishi hello everyone uh, you are on sk live i am indranil basi your host today today or we have a very special guest mr ashok malotra the former indian middle order batsman um, sir welcome to sk live how have you, how have you been see uh, how how well you can feel in a uh, corona virus you know but uh, i i'm very pleased to be on uh, uh, with you indranil on as a uh, sports player and uh, it's a it's an honor to be on the uh, uh, this uh, channel the honor is honor is uh, bigger for us so uh, uh, so what how have you been spending your time ah uh, i mean the world has come to a standstill honestly you know none of us imagined that this is going to happen so it is it is a uh, watching television sleeping uh, doing all the all the very rarely you go out for a uh, you know some uh, uh, groceries etc but otherwise you are at home and uh, really i cannot imagine i know uh, the retired life but uh, this is uh, worse than a retired life because nothing else to do the world world nobody imagine uh, the world has come to a standstill yeah and and uh, of course uh, you you kept going to the nets you have your academy so that is also not happening that that must be really frustrating. yes sir, that that is a very major setback for us because uh, the kids keep asking us because uh, kids who can't stay at home and the budding cricketers they all want to be in the ground and uh, play and uh, try to hone their skills absolutely you know uh, it's 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 a tough a tough uh, situation for indian cricket board also but the good news is that ipl is happening there is ipl is happening in 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 uae at some point in in autumn which is a good news isn't it this is a definitely a very very good news because at least uh, there is some kind of a start for cricket and the, and we all know that ipl uh, people are spo- you know i feel crazy if i may say it because uh, it is entertainment 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 and everybody is looking forward to be be it administrators be it uh, broadcasters be it players be it spectators everybody was l- looking forward to it and uh, i know uh, icc took hell of a long time to uh, cancel the t20 uh, world cup but the moment they cancelled it uh, bcci came forward and announced uh, ipl and i i we all hope that even the ranji trophy uh, schedule and the domestic other domestic schedules are also uh, announced as at the earliest so that you know all the players who are all the stakeholders are are at peace this uh, domestic cricket is a uh, take a hit because uh, vijay hazare has been cancelled you know uh, and uh, ranji, ranji trophy is going to be held in december and that that to only uh, from zonal bases like old days that yeah. you play in your zone the top team qualifies for the knockout stage and then you uh, play from then onwards so it has taken a hit but uh, then it is it is a need of yeah because everybody is struggling everybody uh, uh, all over, all over the world is struggling so this is had done a good job by uh, shortlisting the venues shortlisting the uh, uh, ranji trophy and uh, they they are thinking of having mushtaq ali but vijay hazare and uh, the other trophies they are more or less cancelled now you are you also doing a great job as, as a president of the india's uh, indian cricketers association and you did a great job of uh, putting together uh, sort of money to help those cricketers needy cricketers who are uh, you know former cricketers aged cricketers that was a great gesture on your part to take that initiative indranil that is, that is a great great gesture by the indian cricketers association because before us no no cricketer association has ever done and we collected 70 lakhs of rupees we distributed 52 lakhs of rupees to 60 needy cricketers and uh, you know among them is a lot of uh, widows of uh, deceased cricketers a lot yeah. of former cricketers who in need of money and uh, one blind cricketer also uh, shekhar naik who was uh, was one two world, world championships for the blind, blind cricket and was a uh, uh, honored uh, as uh, uh, as padam shri by the government of india and uh, very recently we help two people who were affected by corona virus and was hospitalized mr balla and npc so i see uh, as a whole is doing a great job i i wish some corporate would come forward and also 
uh, you know, take this cause very seriously and, and you know, uh, help uh, I see, uh, you know, uh, the Indian Cricketers Association, that would have been a real help if a corporate would have come. Because if corporates comes in, uh, then, then we are up and running, honestly. As of now, we are, uh, uh, you know, uh, BCCI is supporting us. So, so we are thankful to BCCI for that. Uh, but all in all, we have to, as you very rightly said, if we can get some corporates involved. Although if, when we uh, were collecting funds, uh, Alembing Pharmaceuticals uh, from Baroda, they did uh, help. You know, they put in some uh, some donations for the needy cricket, which we are very, very, very thankful. Uh, I mean, uh, there was uh, there were a lot of negative reports regarding. Uh, the uh, ICA and and the BCCI. So what was that? I mean, did you have any issue with as a president of the? Uh, no, none, yeah. none whatsoever. Honestly, none whatsoever. We, you know, uh, BCCI is our parent body, and uh, they are the one who are supporting us. They're not nothing, nothing like like that. But uh, then uh, we and ICA body, we we are looking after the cricketers. So you know, they are a parent body, and we can request and plead to them, and that is what what they're going to do. You know, and uh, maybe it is the process is a bit, bit slow as of now because of the coronavirus uh, pandemic. And, and uh, maybe a, there must be a lot on BCCI's play. But uh, we are very hopeful and uh, very thankful for BCCI for supporting us. No, absolutely. And, and the times are really tough, sir. You know, I spoke to a few of the cricketers from other countries. They are also struggling massively. And there is no mechanism. And we are thankful to God we at least have a... Uh, I, ICA and and uh, the pensions which BCCI uh, initiated a uh, lot of years ago. So that that is actually keeping keeping a lot of cricketers going also, which is a very good thing. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I would say we we are really thankful for the cricket cricket to uh, start, especially with the West Indies in Eng England series. And what yes. a test match we had! You know that yeah. uh, without despite of coronavirus. Test, test cricket is still al alive and kick, kicking in, in the need. And I, I, I hope we uh, take it from here. And as you very rightly said, all over the world, we are struggling. But, uh, you know, we, if everybody gets together, dig deep, I'm sure we'll get over this, this, this crisis. And, and when there is a conflict, the best way to do it is to, uh, you know, have a dialogue. You know, that's the best way forward. I mean, we are seeing how people are, are really struggling outside. You know, so much of negativity. Uh, actually, it's it's not a nice feeling when at this hour it should be all together, isn't it? I mean, we should all together fight this uh, pandemic. We should all uh, together fight this crisis, and that's how one one should be looking at. Absolutely, all all of us together. Only uh, together we can overcome this uh, pandemic. You know, otherwise it, it's not going to be easy because we we never imagined anything of this sort can ever happen to the world. You know, we, we were worried about the nuclear war, this, that, but never imagined some, some uh, you know, virus will come from China and uh, affect the entire world. And I, if I may say, uh, put the entire world to a stop, can you, can, could we ever imagine the things which has happened to America? The number of people which has died, died in America, in uh, Spain, in Italy, in uh, England, uh, nobody could have imagined their medical uh, 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 the medical uh, thing works very, very fine. They're very, very, very concerned about it. And those are the countries where even if 10 people die, the governments uh, fall down. And uh, they are not able to stop the virus. So we have to dig deep. And uh, as you very rightly said, we have all to come together to tide this war. So, so tell me, tell me what, what, all, what all other initiatives are you doing to reach out to, you know, to uh, collect more funds for these cricketers? See, uh, uh, our welfare fund is still open and uh, we are ready to help as many cricketers as possible uh, because uh, there are a lot of cricketers who are in need of money or, or the people who are uh, uh, who get affected by coronavirus. Uh, ICA will be there there for them. You know, we are trying to help as many as possible, although it is not possible for ICA to uh, cater to thousands of people because uh, our funds are very, very limited. But all, all in all, ICA has been uh, trying to whatever is in their limit. Uh, me and my bo board member, they have been trying very, very hard to uh, work together and wo uh, uh, for the welfare of the uh, cricketers. So, did you get in touch with Saurav Gangli, the BCC president, for, for release of these funds at, 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 at the earliest? 
see indranil uh, they have uh, released two crores to us uh, you know because uh, 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 bcci has released two crore, uh, two crores uh, to the ic ica funds and uh, yes uh, you know it, it was uh, because uh, the uh, supreme court it was a uh, supreme court has uh, in the constitution said ki ica has to be recognized by the bcci and they has to be they have to be funded by the uh, bcci and they have been uh, very magnanimous in uh, doing that and we are thankful to them and as i always have uh, been saying is ke a uh, lot of people are uh, saying ke there is a conflict of interest nothing of the sort they are our parent body and we want to grow under, under their shadow so so not, nothing more nothing less and i, I i'm uh, i would uh, once again say ke we are uh, really thankful to BC, bcci for supporting us i know the things are being delayed but uh, this is because of the corona virus Uh, pandemic and uh, somewhere somewhere uh, along along the line they have got too many things on plate like the ipl and the uh, future tour programs and other things so they're trying to cover that up our time will also come no and and you know doing so much for the domestic cricketers so much for the former cricketers in international cricketers and there was uh, you your name was also associated with some controversy with Uh, as to what you said about domestic cricketers, that you know, you that was really. See, it, uh, uh, I don't know whether you have seen the video which I I released. If no. you have seen the video, I never said anything about domestic cricket. Indranil, I'm a I'm not a top top class uh, test cricketer. You know, I'm not a top class international player. I played uh, seven test matches, twenty one days. Although I've been around for five six years in international cricket, but my my domain domain has been always been domestic cricket. I can never say or. utter anything against uh, dom domestic cricket uh, you know so so that was i, I would say the stories may may, be, may have been planted but which uh, uh, hurt me very bad because I, i i was shocked to see them in the papers no you can take uh, you know little quote out of context and can be used i mean lot of technological uh, you know developments uh, have happened in india over the years and you, there are a lot of things which happen here Absolutely, uh, I mean maybe there are not very many stories as of now. Quoting, quoting, quoting uh, uh, out of context. This is a very regular thing in the media. Yeah, yeah. But you know, we are not trying to undermine anyone here. Neither the media nor the former cricketers. They are very special, and we have complimented each other. Sir, you are you've always known to voice your opinion. You've been you know calling spade a spade. I mean, uh, how was it as a player when you when you uh, when you played for your state uh, for your for your country so did it come as a block when you you always had that aura that you know i'm going to go and get it for you so see indranil i started when i was 16 i made my debut for haryana when i was 16 yeah you know so it, it was very young age haryana was still growing up we you know we had just come up uh, in, in the north zone cricket and we were not even qualifying for knockout uh, those are the days when i came into the haryana team So we gradually, gradually we built a team. Gradually, which uh, reached the final and he even won the Ranji, Ranji final un under the leadership of uh, Kapil Dev. So we, we, we can. Uh, and uh, another thing was that uh, uh, you know it uh, coming from a place like Chandigarh, you didn't yeah. have very, very many backers for you. You know you have to start uh, do it on your own. And I was one of those introverts. I was never a. Uh, a very extrovert i was not a uh, very outgoing very social no you know a lot of uh, people uh, uh, mistook uh, 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 you know at a, a little bit of arrogance which, which i have I, i have never been so so what what it was was that uh, i remember we, when we were kids we were uh, going out together I, you know I, i at 16 i made my debut and uh, by 1920 i was in the north county and i remember couple and me were uh, uh driving on uh, you know riding a bicycle and he was sitting in front of me and he said uh, uh shoki i'll i'll play test cricket and he was only playing under 22 cricket till then i said uh, how will you play i'm playing north zone you're not even in the ranji trophy side but he had that belief that i'll play and he played you know in 79 he made his debut and then chandigarh was a very small community people of 30 40 people who were playing cricket you know so once he made it we all started believing that we can do it and then uh, you know like uh, i made my debut in 82 uh, against england you know so before that i i, I was a cricketer of the year in uh, 
so so uh, things started moving if i may say when once couple uh, made it and uh, he gave us the belief i, I was uh, i would say i was uh, never a over confident guy i was uh, some of the guys who used to uh, you know uh, feed on the uh, applause of of the others you know i was uh, on, on my own i i would not i would not that i had never had that kind of a self belief yeah i'm that good or i can make it and all that uh, yeah. but uh, people made me made me believe and then uh, uh, rest is history i you know like i like, uh, i remember we won a irani trophy before the pakistan tour uh, against delhi and i i think in last day we had to score 435 runs against delhi and uh, we managed to achieve that srikanth played a blinder got a 100 I got 120, 100, 130. Arun got 80 odd. So that that was uh, although I was not picked for the Pakistan so that is besides the point. But the fact was that was one series and that that uh, that was one game I remember and one game I remember was a uh, Wills Trophy finals where the entire top cricket. Those days it was not the only international cricketers play international cricket and domestic cricketers play domestic cricket. These are the premier tournaments where. Uh, all the top players used to play so i remember uh, last ball i hit a six against yograj to win the match for wills trophy in the finals so those were days when the 30 40000 people used to come and watch the game so that th- that gave me the belief that gave me the confidence and and not to forget i, I you know i was a, i always uh, uh, you know felt that i was a uh, not very readily accepted i don't know why why and how but uh, whenever i used because i was like a bad pani i used to come back because every time uh, i was uh, dropped from an indian team i used to score heavily in dom- domestic cricket and kind of a uh, bounce back but then i used to be uh, made to sit out and uh, then if i i had to play i used to play the last test match because i played i played only seven test matches i have almost made five comebacks yeah so i, I got stuck in that uh, rut of comebacks but uh, uh indranil for me my best series was the 1983 uh, against west indies because i played a west indies all the one days in west indies and all the one day one days after world cup in india so i played all the matches before and after so so you can i, I only missed out the show piece of uh, world cup which which uh, you know even hurts me even now because uh, uh, and i had a good series against west indies and i always thought if once you score runs against west indies that west indies you always have the belief that i i can make it i have i i i i am here here to stay but somehow after that west indies series i got dropped for the asia cup i i still don't know why and how but i got dropped and that that was a major major setback for me if i had to become a top class international cricketer i think that west indies series was the one which would have made me because after playing the michael holding the marshall the gardner uh, roberts and the winston davises and uh, uh, Dan- daniels i think uh, uh, you had the belief that i belong here and i can deliver but that that setback i would say put me back but uh, but uh, still despite of that i was a member of the world championship team in 1985 yeah. which where i i think indian team played the best cricket ever played although i did not get to play any game but uh, still i was part of it part of a uh, history b- being created because that's the first time ever that india has uh, outclassed every other country in the world absolutely so can you just hold the phone a little higher so i can yeah so yeah. hold the phone. Yeah. yeah this is better so i was also yeah. one you know i mean you got a backspin also when you made your debut and people used to say that you are the future uh, you are next gundappa bishwanath in indian cricket <laughs> so you know the way <laughs> indranil uh, gundappa vishnuath has always been my hero always been when we were young uh, you know uh, uh, in haryana we had two groups one group used to support sunil gavaskar one new group used to support vishi that who is a better cricketer who is a, all, all those the growing up years so i still remember uh, you know when we first time played uh, 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 when we saw vishi in bangalore i remember in the leap trophy kapil was making his debut and uh, i still remember after the game he came back he said what a player he is. he said he looked at me and cut me for four he even didn't look at the ball so these are the things we were talking but as i said i would say 
it was a drawback for me. But people were the expectations were very high. He was a genius. He was a, he's a he is a legend. Modern day cricketers would not know how big and how graceful Wish he was and how great a player he was on difficult wickets. So I I felt I was a li little bit handicapped for being compared to Wishy. Sir, but you know when you're a little on the shorter side as a batsman, like someone like you is very stocky, and yeah, uh, what is it? Does it help to play square of the wicket? I mean, you you guys were a absolutely in the of the back footer because ball can tend to sometimes rise from length and can take an outside edge. But when you cut the ball, even if you top edge, it goes over the slips. And shorter guys are a much better better equipped to handle uh, these kind of a shots. Most of the spear cutters, if you See, all over the world are better, uh, are short, short guys. So I think uh, it comes easy to the shorter people. You know, I mean, be it uh, Gundapa Vishwanath, Mr. Sunil Gavaskar, Mr. Ashok Malhotra, all of them could cut the ball so well. Yeah, I know, but, but don't put me in that league. That league is no, too I, big. <laughs> I might be a top class domestic cricketer, but I, 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 I honestly, once again, I'll, let me tell you that I always felt that I belong here after that 83 vote, uh, 83 series against West Indies. I remember my first match in Mumbai. I got 79 not out in second innings, and uh, you know. And then I still remember a game against uh, West Indies, a uh, one-day game against uh, West Indies in Jamshedpur. And I can't believe I was sitting with my, you know, so relaxed. You know, I was not even worried that Michael holding bowling or Marshall is bowling. And I ended up scoring 65 in a, maybe 60, 70 balls. I almost ran a ball which was unheard of those days. You know, so for me that was that was the thing. And I I on, honestly believe that somehow uh, I I did not fit in. Fit in somehow some people fit in, some don't. I, and I was one of those uh, characters. Maybe I was a uh, too quiet. May maybe I did not mix up well with the people. Maybe I was not very social with the uh, the powers to be. So I would not know. You know, sure, I, I everybody uh, you know thought I'm Kapil's friend, but Kapil was Kapil. You know, he was a legend. He has uh, other things to do, and not to forget, he was the captain of the team. Absolutely, sir. I mean, going back to the story you said that about the bicycle ride. So which year was that? Oh, it it must be in a year, um, maybe uh, 76, 77, if I remember, uh, you know, I, and Kapil and me still discuss it. He's, and I asked him, I said, how many tests you will play? He said, two or three, because fast bowlers were not a preferred lot those days. And, uh, you know, and I still remember in 79, uh, 78, uh, Indian team's camp was being held and he came to my house and he he said, let's go out for beer. We, we both never used to drink. And okay. it was his way of, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, it, it was something like that. You know, so I said, yeah, why are you so, so upset that you're not in the camp? You're not in the zo zonal side. Uh, but uh, that was his belief. Next day, he came with a, uh, you know, Mithai ke dabba and he said, uh, I'm been called because uh, Abid Ali, uh, Karsan Gavri, Madan Lal, they were not given permission by their respective clubs in England to attend the camp. So he was called and they, there he went and uh, then he never looked back. After that, he never looked back. Because he played, uh, made his debut in uh, the Leap Trophy that year, bowled magnificently, batted well. And uh, then uh, he went on tour of Pakistan and this is just... So, you know, uh, at that level, what, what I really felt, I mean, still feel is that you need a need little bit of push like we saw Rohit Sharma, how he was bat, and you know, if Rohit would have been batting at number five and six, he wouldn't wouldn't have been in the in the Indian team right now. And the team management battles continuously. Indranil, it is the destiny. I I I never used to believe in destiny, but now and after that, I believe in destiny. See, Manoj Tiwari got a hundred. Yeah. For twelve matches, he did not get a game after that. But Rohit Sharma kept getting game after game. I know today. He's a, a legendary batsman, Rohit Sharma. But you never know if uh, uh, Manoj Tiwari, after the 100 against West Indies, if he got uh, chances, he might have uh, done the trick. He might have been a big player too. Yeah. So so that is sometimes some thing click or some faces click and some faces don't. 
and the uh, international the, the difference between domestic cricket and international cricket is that you don't know which guy is going to click in international cricket you know nowadays it's much easier because uh, we have lot of india tours we have lot of uh, foreign tours where you you go out and play, play in this foreign conditions whereas uh, during our time it was straight from raji trophy into international cricket straight from playing is uh, a the goel the bishan the prasanna the chandras uh, straight into the michael holdings and garners and roberts and the uh, bothams and the richard hadleys and uh, ibran khan and uh, sir faraz nawaz so it, it was never going to it was uh, going to be easy for a domestic player post uh, 1986 what kept you going uh, at the domestic cricket you always came across you know someone who is a Was a superman in 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 whenever you played when you whenever you came out for your state, what kept you going? See, I I remember I came to Calcutta. Uh, you know because my in-laws are from Calcutta. You know so I went to Piggy's house and Piggy said, "Yeah, to why don't you come to Bengal? We'll make them win Ranji Trophy." I I have not forgotten his words to me. You know okay. and uh, I I had played fourteen years for Haryana, and uh, I was not I was a uh, I started lacking motivation because day in day out I knew I, if I keep playing for Haryana I will not be dropped. There will no no new goal, no new motivation. And eighty uh, six was the last I played for India as well. You know the tour of Australia. Yeah. So so then I came to uh, Calcutta, and uh, not to forget uh, you know like uh, those days with Test cricketers used to get ten thousand rupees a uh, rupees a uh, a Test match. Yeah. And after, and as a test cricketer, you are you are supposed to maintain kind of a status. So, with with a three and half thousand rupees salary every month, life was getting difficult, more and more difficult. Whereas in Calcutta, you were getting paid, you know, almost a double. Your salary was getting doubled, you know. So that that was one thing. And secondly, that uh, uh, Arunlal uh, thing I'm I'm saying, that was the one. And then once I came to Calcutta, I had to start afresh. I remember I played a club game and uh, a selection was tomorrow and a game before uh, I was going out to bat and Palash Nandi said you have to get a hundred if you want to uh, be selected for Bengal. So I was not a I never asked Mr. Mr. Dalmia to come and play for Bengal. I just picked up my kit bag and came and uh, play played for Bengal and thinking that I'll be accepted. But it, it, it it's not so. You have to start afresh. You start a new inning. and that is what i uh, what uh, kept motivating me and not to forget the love and affection of uh, calcutta public I, I, that i never got in haryana but uh, yes in bengal they are so sports crazy they are so co- well connected with the uh, sports with cricket and they are so clued up because uh, winning 89 ranji trophy final was the dp the, the best moment uh, for me beside uh, 85 world championship because 50000 people were watching the match I can can never imagine uh, anything like that happening in uh, today's uh, cricketing world. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And and you know how did you beat that team in eighty nine? It was almost a, a test team from Delhi. <laughs> Everyone was a test cricket. <laughs> I remember in the same final, I got two fifty eight against uh, Hyderabad, and used to travel by metro those days because uh, uh, I, I had not uh, shifted the. Uh, Still bag and baggage to Calcutta those days because I was shuttling between Delhi and Calcutta, I, and I remember in the metro, a lot of people used to say that "jitte ho be, Delhi ke harate ho be," and I, me and Piggy used to talk. I said, "Piggy, how are we going to beat them? How, how?" And they, he said, "No, we we will manage." I I said, "How?" Uh, you know, as you very rightly said, they were almost a test side that time, but I I still say they were intimidated. by the crowd i am sure that cricketers did beat beat them but the the way they back the side it yeah. uh, geed all of us up it, it um, motivated all of us and uh, i think we our bowlers played their best cricket our fielders uh, fielded at their best and uh, you know we managed to beat a really star studded side which which has created a uh, history but in so, uh, sorry no no i'm yeah it, it created history sorry you were saying something Yeah, create, created history, and I still remember. You know, after we won the trophy, people were escorting us home. You know, it was that. That can you imagine anything like this happening in anywhere in the country? No, it cannot. 
Calcutta, Calcutta, Kolkata is Kolkata. You know, I and I, I, you know, today I am a diehard Kolkata because I am already twenty six years living in uh, Kolkata. But uh, all in all, I, I would say, and after that, uh, you know, like uh, again, it was motivation for uh, winning a, another Ranji Trophy. Although we failed to do that, but still reached the Ranji final uh, two or three times because I still they say that from eighty nine to ninety six. Was the golden period for Bengal cricket because we not only won the Ranji Trophy once, we reached Ranji, Ranji final three to four times. Sir, I've been here in Delhi for last twenty-four years, and I can tell you one thing: they haven't forgotten uh, as to how that good length spot, the three-quarter length spot, was uh, wet on 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 the final day in the final. Yeah, game. I, I on Indranil. Uh, it, I only heard about it much later. I, during that time, I never knew about it. Believe you me, you know yeah. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm telling you the fact. Yeah, how it happened, what happened, I would not know. But what, what, honestly, yeah, yeah. No, no. Water sipping through the uh, covers and getting into the good length spot and things like that. See, what covers were never uh, used to be so good during those days. Yeah, you know it never used to be so good uh, those days and. Uh, Uh, not to forget, uh, you know, like every visiting side has some kind of a complaint. You know, I I I, I remember in uh, 95 we were playing the finals against Mumbai and we had a great side with sort of Gangli batting at six or seven. Yeah. You know, so we had a great side. You know, Varun Lal, uh, 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 me, uh, sort of Gangli, Sneeshish Gangli, Sri Kant Kalyani, uh, then uh, Ketan Sharma, Prashant Vedya, Utpal Chatterjee. So it was a side uh, which was meant to win the Ranji Trophy, and I had no no doubt in my mind. And whereas Mumbai was a young side led by Ravi Shastri, but then uh, uh, last day they had to get 250, 260 on a rank turn. But somehow last day it it be became such a placid tra uh, uh, track. It became like cement. And I remember Ravi telling me, "Oh, it happens like this on four day in one day." I said. Ravi, I've been around for 24 years, 25 years, but then and then these are the ifs and buts of in, uh, domestic cricket. You might take a little bit of home advantage. There, everybody has a the loser always have have a complaint. And and the question rule, who will forget that? <laughs> uh, yeah, which whichever way, like like I complained about to Ravi that why it has become placid. So the daily daily I had this complaint why there was a uh, that patch of. Uh, Patch uh, 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 there on the wicket, uh, sir. You you also played a lot of cricket in Scotland, Bangladesh. Uh, wondering why why uh, our Indian cricketers are not allowed these days. I mean, don't you think you know they should be allowed at some level to go out and earn their living when they're towards the fag end of their career? See, internal those days, the cricket used to be played for four four months in a year, international cricket, okay. and first class cricket also four months in a year. And then after after the uh, the uh, domestic cricket you, you used to get over in March March end, so from April onwards you could go and play in Eng England, Scotland, Ireland, wherever wherever. So that that uh, and plus uh, the money which cricketers get now. I started with the twenty five rupees in seventy three, and uh, retired in ninety six with five thousand rupees for the entire match. Now you get one point five lakhs per match in first yeah. class cricket. So there's not much money in. in uh, we were only playing for patch, and for the goals and uh, uh, and and, uh, and let me say we knew not. I, at least I can speak for myself. I knew nothing besides cricket. I'm a, a cricketer. That that's all. I you know. I, I knew nothing more, nothing less. And then going to Scotland was like making some extra money. So uh, the, like I, I came to Calcutta to make some extra money. I uh, went to Scotland. I I played there for twelve years non-stop, and I I, I you know I, I I was quite a popular uh, uh, overseas uh, professional there. And then uh, when you talk about Bangladesh, me and Arun were the first Indians to go go and play in Bangladesh before we we reach uh, Bangladesh. Lot of Sri Lankans used to dominate uh, Bangladesh because they were uh, up and uh, coming. They were uh, trying to come into the Uh, main group, they were playing a, a, a you know a, a lower level of cricket, and but uh, the passion was there in Bangladesh. 
but uh, what we did was that we opened the doors for a lot of indians to go and play in bangladesh because they were pay, playing uh, paying good money you know and uh, uh, somewhere me and arun were playing for a very uh, smaller club uh, gulch gulchan u but we managed to beat the biggest side and the passion was so much those bigger side abu hani and uh, mom dhaka momden you know they they their uh, following was unbelievable yeah i remember beating them and uh, we had to be escorted out of the state so it it was a uh, uh, that passionate those crowds you know they desperate it was like a football crowd you know like uh, we see in mon bagan east bengal those days so it was something like that but it was fascinating so let me put it and you made an like, extra buck so that, that is all I, i i can say and not But, to forget uh, even, even when i became a selector in 1999 i still uh, had a contract with the scotland club so i had to cancel that and uh, become the selector although on the on the yeah but sir i can tell you one thing i was interviewing uh, the bcci president uh, just before the lockdown and he made it very clear that he is got big plans for the domestic cricketers to hike their fees and everything so that's a good thing but you know everything came to a standstill because of the lockdown and the the corona virus hopefully things will happen and will roll in the right direction in the days to come one more thing i always felt was you know the 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 vibrancy of university cricket the the which which is no more there in in indian indian setup i mean don't you think we should we should revive the university cricket those those cricketers those levels you know we we got so many cricketers to that absolutely because uh, those days uh, you know visit trophy used to be play played over four days you yeah. know so a lot of cricketers used to come from domestic cricket those days uh, sunil gavaskar came through uh, domestic cricket kapil dev uh, sorry university cricket uh, sunil uh, kapil dev came through the university cricket uh, yashpal sharma came through university cricket there a lot of uh, cricketers if you count there a lot of cricketers who came through sandeep patel dilip bengsarkar you you uh, na- name it lot of them came through university cricket so so i w- i would say absolutely they should revive it i i, w- I went and uh, commentated for one visit of the final and it was a 50 over game so you can Im- imagine the shorter the format uh, less impact because then the, it is not considered a first class game those days maybe some of the visit trophy games were considered first class games too because they were four day games so i think uh, bcci should do do something about the university cricket because uh, it's a grassroots level and it, it is a lot of talent come through university and as you very rightly said uh, saurabh we first time have a cricketer president we are all uh, very hopeful what he can do because it never happened that any cricketer is a president of the bcci so definitely we expect a lot from him i know the corona virus has slowed him down but still we are very 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 hopeful that Absolutely. something will happen and he is a very capable administrator so you know we always had great batting talent and had someone like you not uh, going beyond seven test matches uh, uh, you know speaks volume about the kind of talent we also had in india throughout but in recent days we are seeing a great uh, talent pool of uh, fast bowlers uh, in indian cricket which is a kind of a pleasing sight never happened in the history of the even Viv Richards was was quoted as saying that you know first time we are seeing Indian bowlers making such big impacts. I mean, bat, batsmen obviously made impacts from seventies, eighties onwards, but first time Indian bowlers making impact must be a very happy soul. You you must be a very happy absolutely. Uh, Indranil, I think the turnaround has been started by Kapil. He was the top bearer of fast bowlers. Before him, everybody wanted to be a spinner. not very much wanted to be fast bowler so he's the first one who came came uh, uh, into the indian team who tried to bounce people out who tried to bowl quick he tried to hit the ball all over the park and against fast bowlers so he turned things around after he came lot of our teams started having fast bowlers and i would uh, give credit to bcci also because they start in uh, you know after 2010 or something they started having green top wickets in domestic cricket Green top wickets help the fast bowlers, and if you now look at it, it is not that we have got Shami, Bumra, Umesh Yadav, you know, all these, all all the all these, all these uh, uh, Ishan Sharma, you know, it is. If you look at every state unit, they have two to three fast bowlers who play who bowl for one forty, one forty plus. So uh, 
absolutely credit should be given. Uh, you know, it was started by Kapil, but the credit should be given to BCCI for helping the fast bowlers. So bowler uh, who, who knew that I'll come if I can bend my back, I can get the result. Unlike older days, cricket when we started our cricket, it was used to be rank turners. There are uh, spinners used to do dominate. So now that is why. But then, uh, you know, if it is a good thing, the fast bowlers. We have got better fast bowlers in India now than even Pakistan, which was uh, supposed to be nursery for fast bowlers. Yes. And uh, not to forget that uh, we probably have the best bowling attack in the entire world as, as of now. We can compete with the best. Yes. Uh, but in the bargain, we have lost out. We were known to be land of spinners. We have lost out on the spinners because the spinners uh, they they come and uh, try to block one end. It is the fast bowlers who do uh, does the trick for the average state side. So you were quite a selector, also, you know, who spoke his mind and always kept uh, things happening in the right direction. I remember how 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 tough or how easy was it to pick Saurav as a captain? Uh, see, uh, if I remember correctly, yeah. uh, picking Saurav as a vice captain was a tougher job. I okay. remember uh, we picked him in Calcutta, okay. and uh, there was a you know uh, the coach has uh, some. Things to say about sort of uh, uh, you know drinks too much coke, takes his singles, does not take twos, and all that. Uh, you know, so in the bargain, I said uh, you know having a thumbs up does not disqualify him as a uh, uh, vice cap. I remember yeah. it was in Calcutta, and uh, then we had a quite a big discussion, and uh, uh, in three to, three to two. Uh, was voted in favor of uh, Sora as vice okay. captain, but then uh, sorry, I would name won't name the president, but he walked into the selection table, which has never have ever happened in the history of BCCI. Yeah, and he to told us, gentlemen, you will have to do some rethink. And then we, when our chairman said, let gentlemen, let's do some rethinking. So two of us still stuck to our guns. No, we we are with him. But one of our selectors said, "Ki no, I uh, the president said it, so I will go by it." So he he was not made the vice captain then. That was the first time. But later on, we managed to. I know I know. To today he's a legendary captain, absolutely. But uh, I would say a uh, little bit of effort, little bit of effort was there as the captain also and as the vice captain also. You know, wow. so no, how but, much uh, was... making him a vice captain was a tougher job, if I may say. Uh, making him captain, we none of us knew that he will become a captain because Sachin was the captain. But once Sachin resigned, then I, I had to work over time to make convince everybody to make him the captain because there was Anil Kumble in line, there was Ajay Jadeja in line. So, yeah. so I I have to work over time, and I not to forget being a uh, Kolkata. I had my uh, I was wearing my heart on my sleeve, and I had a soft corner for uh, Saurav because I played. Uh, I was captain for six years as well, so yeah. I, I had a lot of lot of time for him. And none of us knew that he's going to turn turn around and to be the one of the greatest captain India has ever produced. None of us knew. Believe you me, at the time, none of us knew. But that and time, he, our goal initially was to make Saurav the captain. My at least my goal was to make him the captain. You saw something coming, of course. Otherwise, why would you back someone like him? See, he was he was uh, always very focused, and he was uh, always, uh, uh, if I may say, he used to get along well with his teammates. And uh, uh, not to forget, he was all always uh, very inquisitive about all the things happening ar around the ground and all that. So, so th th that was one of the things. And uh, not to forget, in in Indian cricket, you are a captain if you are a top player. Full stop. It is not uh, England or uh, New Zealand where, uh, where uh, at, uh, you know, from some uh, uh, Tony Lewis will come and captain the si side or Chris Cowdery will ca captain the side or somebody from New Zealand, the wicketkeeper who came and uh, captain the side. It will never happen. You have to be a top class player to be the captain of India team. And Sora was a top class player. So how much was the gap? I mean, when you decided, the panel decided that he'll be the vice captain and then uh, you know, he was eventually made the captain. So, how much was the difference? How much when it, it happened between how much, how many months, how many years of? See, uh, Indranil, 
I would not say when we made him the captain, it was a very popular choice uh, uh, among the among the management of the Indian team. You know, but uh, you know, there's some questioned us, and this, this, some of them said also that we, you people, have made a mistake. But uh, the fact is, he has proved everybody wrong. Saurav's speciality is he's meant for bigger stage. He's always been um, he's meant for bigger stage. I remember in Ranji Trophy, he was not, he was not uh, uh, putting house on fire. No, but the moment he came, went into bigger stage, be it under 19 uh, international game, he was selected out of nowhere, got a hundred. Uh, a test cricket, we know what is history. The Leap Trophy, his debut, he got a hundred. So he he is uh, known to be on bigger stage, and bigger the stage, better he performs. And not, I will uh, always say he uh, uh, Saurav was always a great captain cricketer, great captain cricketer, because he uh, collected his team around him. Even now, most of them swear by him. So that shows a uh, good management skills, good uh, captain skills, at and a good eye, eye for the eye, eye for the uh, if I, I would say for the talent. I know the talent was provided by the selectors who don't get credit for it. But uh, he was there once he saw something good. He will not let him go. Like Harbhajan, for one, play that Harbhajan was not the first choice. I I still uh, agree with that. That was a master stroke by Sorokam. It was a master stroke. He insisted and put his foot down for Harbhajan. And the rest is history. That was a all and all, all and all sorrow, out and out sorrow. So it's you her saw, yeah, you you give sorrow a name, she'll take a yard. <laughs> yeah, ab ab absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So you also coached him, uh, coached the Indian team briefly in 2003, if I remember. Very, very briefly. I in fact went on a tour to West Indies with the India team. Yeah. You know where, where we it was almost a four month tour where uh, we had to play the domestic circuit in West Indies cricket. Yeah. You know, yeah. played with the Leeward Island, the Windward Island, the, and Jamaica, the Barbados, the Trinidad Tobago's, and uh, then we found out that uh, they are absolutely separate nations. But uh, coaching coaching was an experience for me because uh, I was not only a coach, I was a trainer also, I was a fielding coach also, I was a bowling coach also. So it, I didn't have ten guys around. Uh, or, or uh, uh, you know, physio or in a, no, I had to do everything. I was wearing too many hats, but I enjoyed it. We had some go good cricketers, somebody like Akash Chopra, Gautam Gambhir, Ambati Raidu, uh, Murli Karthik, uh, then uh, Balaji. So, so we have, we had some uh, go good cricketers among us, uh, you know. Uh, so uh, all in all, it was good experience, and then. Uh, when the tour to Bangladesh was announced, that uh, John Wright's father expired. Yeah. So since most of the guys in that Indian team were selected, the new guys like uh, Sarandeep and uh, Gautam Gambhir, Avishkar Salvis and Abhijit Kales, uh, you know, they were with me in West Indies. So then they decided to send me, and I I, I was coached for two games, you know. Yeah. So uh, uh, two games, and uh, we were uh, one one, and one was washed out. So, so that uh, that is it, and then till uh, John Wright came back. So that and that was that was my experience uh, with the BCCI uh, Indian Indian cricket coaching as, as concerned. But I can say that my uh, selection process of four, four years, selectors as a selector, it was very very fruitful, very very very, very emotional because uh, as we all started thinking we can uh, whatever we can do. To the welfare of cricketers, there used to be a lot of arguments in the selection committee, all that you know. So it used to be uh, there, but uh, end of the day, if during our tenure, the uh, Yuvraj, the Sevag, the Zahir Khan, they, they all all came during our tenure. Yes, you know. So that is a you know, uh, where I I remember the Sevag scoring two seventy in uh, Tripura, and I came and told everybody uh, Chandu Bode was the chairman. Okay, yeah. This guy is unbelievable. And unluckily, the Zahir Khan bounced him out twice, and Tor was to go to Australia, so he was not picked. But next year, he was a different player altogether. He worked on his short, short ball technique, and he was a player for the future. Best is this. So what and I'm saying is that uh, selectors don't get a credit in Drunil. You know, uh, its credit is given to the management and the captains, but selectors who do the hard yards, 
you know because uh, the modern day uh, international cricketers don't have time to watch domestic cricket and you know the best part is that you know those years you picked those cricketers who went on to play most of them i mean 90% of them went on to play 100 yeah. test matches for india yeah That yeah is yeah is so it it uh, gladdens your heart i know we, we don't get any credit for it believe you me none of us has got any credit for it because we were selectors and those they selectors were select selectors was an ordinary job it was not a lucrative lucrative job now, now uh, like it is now so we and, we used to survive on tnda and then look for a places to stay yeah yeah believe yeah. you me yeah. you know you had you know we select people we selected people for rest of india then board president 11 then for indians and others but uh, we had to go looking for a place to stay believe you me it was uh, that bad those days when i look at our selectors now so <laughs> you <laughs> you yeah, and believe you me we worked at, and we, we never used to go on tours and all all those things so less said the better yeah let's, let's say the better but it is it is a good it is more professional you know time changes you, you can't uh, regret your time but yeah, what you sh- what pleases you is the life has moved on and uh, the modern day selectors are making good money but sir we are not getting people of your stature as selectors you know which is which is kind of See, sad <laughs> in donel nobody is indispensable no 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 people come people go this game no. will go on people who can take tough decisions you know i mean of course you have to have a vision uh, thankfully we have a very strong team management who is taking lot of calls but our current bunch of selectors as are not as strong as at used as it used to be before and and you know which is very sad it never expect such a thing from bcci picking such weak selection i mean i mean players have said you know players have said they have they, a lot of players see indranil have... i i would uh, say ki you know like as uh, last selection committee uh, together they played a uh, 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 15 16 test match so that is that is not because when we were selectors the chairman was always a great cricketer beat yes. ajit wardiker beat chandu board during my tenure yes. so i think uh, before that it was gundappa vishnath all all these greats used to lead the selection committee and and you know And, and i still remember when we came to the dressing room and chandu bode saw the 10 bats <laughs> behind each chair he said how how so many bats we used to get have two in during our time i said chandu bode time has changed you know so 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 but the fact is you know that now now i think it's a, a good thing that sunil joshi is leading the uh is a chairman of the selection committee he's played some kind of cricket 30 40 test matches or yes. uh, you know 100 150 one day so he has a some kind of a stature he's played international cricket and he will understand the mentality of the cricketer thank god for unlike that. some guys who had not played even a game of test cricket i know they were top class uh, domestic cricketers but uh, then uh, it it does not justify if you're going to select a, a dhoni or a virat kohli and others then uh, Uh, somewhere along the line you should uh, be able to have experience that level so i have a question from the uh, viewer neel bora who says that you have been a high scorer in a ranji trophy once upon a time how did you how do you feel when your record was broken <laughs> see records are meant to be broken record. i still remember when i was talking about that uh, 95 uh, uh, ranji trophy final i have kind of announced my retirement i will uh, uh, go after this So once the Ranji final finished, only 16 runs were left. Yeah. So I remember uh, Ravi Shastri telling me, "Why don't you play one more year and get get your record? You have worked so hard for the, such a long time." So that is why I played one more year. So you know, when I got a record, it is a achievement, surely. But it is a you know, lot of cricketers, lot of former uh, uh, international cricketers said, "Yo, oh, he's a." Uh, you know uh, domestic uh, uh, domestic king and all that but is is a sitting duck in international cricket you know the to- top cricket so so it is a it gives a satisfaction to us but uh, i don't think it is a huge thing as far as the cricketing circles are concerned so uh, it was really uh, you know i can go on and on with my questions because uh, we are we are already crossed one hour <laughs> chatting on the game yeah the time flies with you 
applies. No, no, really, it 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 was right. really a pleasure having you on the show and uh, uh, for answering everything uh, like the way you batted. You know, you played all over the park. You played all over the wicket. That was your trademark style. You could play on the onside, offside with same kind of intensity and also, you know, straight down the ground. Sir, thanks a lot for being on SK Live. It was such a pleasure. Hope to have you again at some time and uh, stay, stay, stay safe, stay happy, and uh, and and keep spreading thanks, the. Thanks, Thanks, Andronil. Thanks very much, and keep in touch.